Good evening. I'm going to start something called Chit Chat. This is just uh, anything that somebody comments on or something I need to further explain or want to explain or if anybody else wants me to further explain or correct something that I possibly put out that was wrong. So the first one that we're going to talk about is root cuts versus cross cuts. I had my dad call in uh, or call me up and say that uh, there may have been a little confusion on rip cuts, cross cuts, and wanted to make sure that I was putting out correct information. So what I'm going to do is clarify a little bit what uh, is going on. So for as far as rip cuts and cross cuts go, it's what your or what direction you're cutting in reference to your grain. So the grains are the growth lines in the tree. So the tree would be growing up uh, as it grows on uh, different seasons. It puts more uh, of these. Uh, lines in here. These are the uh, nutrient canals and the uh, growth layers uh, as the tree ages. That's where the grain comes from. So when we're ripping a board, it means we're cutting with the grain. Uh, when we're cross cutting a board, it means we're cutting against the grain. Now what this means for as far as saw blade choice is uh, the amount of teeth that you want to put um, on your saw blade when you're doing these cuts. So. For rip cuts, you want to use a finer tooth blade, so one that has more teeth in it. This has 60 teeth on the entire circumference of the blade. What this does is, is it's cutting through the wood uh, and tearing through the grains at this point in time. Um, it's The wood is actually making smaller particles. What that does is it builds up in the teeth. What this does is it clears the uh, material out a lot quicker. Um, and makes a lot cleaner cut when you're going through the grains. More cuts per inch and the slower you cut, you get a cleaner cut uh, in your wood. So if you don't use a fine tooth blade or you cut too fast, what happens is you get what's called tear out. Uh, and what this is, is you see right here all these chips that are coming out um, that were part of the grain once upon a time, but they just kind of get blown out. Uh, and that's what I have for um, an example of what tear out would be. Uh, this one's kind of cleaned up a little bit, but that's tear out. As far as ripping a board, so cutting with the grain, uh, almost kind of parting the grain, you want something that has fewer teeth on it. And what this does is it has more space in between the teeth and allows for the wood chips that are going to be a lot longer when it's cutting to actually get cleared out a lot better. It doesn't load your saw blade up, so you can actually cut a little bit faster when you're going with your rip cuts. And since we're not going against the grain, we don't really have to worry about tear out as much. So you get to use a much coarser tooth blade and it actually makes for uh, faster cuts. So that is the difference between rip cuts and cross cuts. I hope I cleared up some uh, confusion if there was any put out there. And thanks dad for making that comment. Uh, extra comments. If you see anything on my videos that you have questions on or comments on or have a better way of doing it, go ahead and let me know. I'll take any and all constructive criticism that you have to offer. Um, so. Send comments if you think I'm doing something a poor way or uh, I could be doing it a better way or if you want clarification on something. I don't have an issue with that. I'll run some videos and we can sit down and do the chit chats. No big deal. Thanks.